Hi, I'm uh, Sam Quinn. I'm a Petty Officer, uh, Aircraft Engineering Technician in the Royal Navy. Uh, and I'm CP. I'm not in the Navy, uh, but we're a, a married couple. We've been together for uh, 12, 12 years and years. Yeah, married for nine. Being part of the nomination was great. You know, it's really good to be um, there representing diverse you know, service families uh, and then to be recognised for that, you know, by, you know, the wider community. That's, that's really, um, really valuable. It really makes, makes me feel quite proud. Yeah, I think it's a real honour to be nominated um, for such a great award where we know the charities and the businesses that have been nominated for this award in the past and the ones that we're up against this year as well. Um, knowing the kind of amazing stuff that they do in this space. Um, thinking about the Navy in that space, um, I suppose because we're in it, we don't think about it too much, but it, it really is amazing as well, so it, it's just great to be nominated. So the Royal Navy Christmas video is a bit of a thank you that goes out to service families um, that are separated for Christmas. Yeah, the video follows me and Sam on our kind of independent Christmas days, just doing normal Christmas day stuff, so Sam's with his friends, I'm with the extended family, um, you don't find out until the very end of the video in this really nice touching moment how we're kind of linked, how we're related, and it's just a nice, nice reveal at the end. I mean, there were countless people, especially like um, friends and friends' parents and stuff that were giving us um, great feedback that they cried and that they'd watched it multiple times and cried. Um, but there was some funny stuff, like we didn't actually tell either of our sets of parents that we were doing it. Um, yeah, my mum just didn't know, did she? Yeah. And then phoned, phoned me up and she, was, she just loved it um, and was kind of like a, almost a bit weepy over like how emotionally it made her down the phone. Yeah. Yeah, and there's definitely something linked to um, like Sam's from a military family, you've got cousins in the army, dad was in the navy, granddad was serving as well. So, um, you know, where the video does cross, even though it's very navy focused, I think there's something that most military families that have experienced separation can take from the video. So some of the um, shots kind of like line up, they match. So like there's a Christmas tree that's like in, bo in both shots and there's a, uh, there's a, like we throw a present and there's, there's something else as well. Uh, like the Christmas cracker, that's it, Christmas cracker. So like visually those, those bits are all really nice. Um, but more like with the actual message, I liked how we um, focused on a same-sex couple, but not, but just because, not because it was a, you know, it was a pride campaign or anything like that. It's just, you know, we're representing service families, and they come in all shapes and sizes. It's all steps in a process. Having a video that is a subtle message, and like I said, you don't find out that we're a couple until the very end. But it's not a big reveal with rainbows and glitter and shouting the message at people. It's enough to normalise same-sex couples in this kind of amazingly shot advertising that we've seen from companies for the past couple of years. You know, Christmas adverts that are emotional um, have become traditional almost, uh, you know, in the 2010s and 2020s. So seeing it normalised without making it the point um, is, uh, is really something. I think everything about the video as much as possible, everything about the film as much as possible was genuine. You know, we are a genuine couple. That is genuinely my part of my chosen family that were involved, the kids and the, and the woman that was in the video. Um, we wanted to be authentic, didn't we? Yeah. We, when we, when we signed up, we didn't want it to be, you know, sort of a, a staged thing. Um, and also, we knew we'd get a, there'd probably be criticism for that. We wanted it to be really authentic. So right from the filmmakers through the story and the people who were involved, um, that, was, that was really important to us. So attitudes have changed like a lot over the past 22 years. Um, for the past 15, we've been Stonewall Top 100 employers. You know, it's just been announced for this year. Um, but I think what exemplifies it most for me recently is like the, the managers that I've had most recently. The best managers, rather than just going, you know, everybody's welcome and leaving it at that, actually they they make an effort to, to find out about who you are, your background, your, your home life, what makes you tick. Um, and they take an active interest in that because, you know, when, when you've got a whole team that cares about each other like that, the, the team just works so much better and you feel like so much more included and valued. Um, so, you know, that's, that's the attitude that I'm seeing come out more and more. So if somebody wanted to join the Navy, then I'd, I'd probably tell them to speak to somebody in the Navy. 
um, ask them loads of questions, find out what it's all about. Uh, and then when you do, enjoy it uh, and take every opportunity that you can. Um, I think if there's anybody out there that's um, queer or LGBT plus and wants to join up, uh, I'd recommend trying to find um, RN Compass on Facebook, that's like our staff network, um, and you can join them and, and speak to people who are also LGBT uh, plus in service.